Hello everyone, welcome to the Industry Safety and Health Education course. Today, we will take a look at the purpose and the idea of the safety and health education. Oh gosh, it's already past midnight and I'm still here working, not able to go home. I just released oxygen and balanced the tank pressure to normal, and in just 10 minutes, it's risen back up. Darn this thing. Ugh, it feels like it's getting even colder as time passes. I should just finish quick and go home. I lowered the tank pressure, but it's still going up. Man, who cares? All the oxygen should be gassed out by now. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Ah! So, why do you think that accident happened? This time, we will look at the outline, necessity, system, purpose, and importance of safety and health education. By taking today's lesson, please look carefully at the importance of outline, purpose, and system of safety and health education. So, let's get the lesson started. The purpose and the characteristic of safety training at the workplace is different fundamentally from the general function training. Maslow wrote in one of his books, Behind the Biological Desire to Live, every human being also has a desire to keep oneself from the dangers, therefore, desire to be safe is same as the survival instinct. Nevertheless, isn't safety education being excluded from social education and neglected in the industrial field? Yes. Even if the productivity has improved by high-quality skill training and quality management education, the sacrifice of life is never compensated and the loss of manpower is the biggest obstacle to the development of company. The disasters cause unhappiness against the unwanted will of human being and when we analyze the factors, it can be divided into two. First, when machinery and equipment act as one factor. Second, when the human's work behavior act as another one. How can each of these factors be prevented? The physical phenomena on the physical side can be prevented by an engineering method, but the prevention of human coal disasters caused by human beings cannot be achieved by engineering methods alone. Furthermore, many human causes have psychoanalytical reasons which lead to thinking against the free will of human beings in combination with physical phenomena. Human causes are not merely caused by human motivations, but it is caused by hierarchical relationships, family problems, social problems, environmental conditions, and innate personal characteristics. Then how can we prevent it? Safety education as a prescription for these various and complex human causes is only a temporary countermeasure so it is necessary to have a wider and deeper human safety and full-time safety education for human beings. Especially, safety education is very important to prevent dozens and hundreds of misfortunes that can be caused by a single person's mistake. It is important for the educator of the safety and health education to acquire how much and how they practice in their workplace. And it is only when the education objectives are implemented correctly that the intended objectives are achieved. So this is why safety education must be carried out persistently and regularly? Yes, and also it is necessary to examine the implementation methods to improve the effectiveness of education. Safety education has to be studied by its necessity, be evaluated on education effectiveness in order to achieve the stated goals, plans should be continuously examined when establishing the future education plan, and be improved to keep the content good. Ah, is that so? Yes, that's why safety education should be repeatedly carried out in three stages, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Professor, can you please explain more about safety education training? The education and training that companies carry out gives the workers the knowledge or function that the company needs now or in the future. 
By developing the individual's ability, the company is trying to apply their suddenly changing environment into their organization or safety activity. At the same time, the company aims to open the way of self-realization to the individuals who are working in there. So, judge what is right about the safety education training and check the answer. Are you done choosing them? Everything explaining about the safety education training is correct. Safety education and training is used to nurture supervisors who are the driving force of business development and to maintain excellent labor force. In addition, safety education and training is carried out to provide knowledge and functions for the safety maintenance of workers and to form a safety attitude. It is meaningful because it directs the company to have the skillful actions and abilities to carry out the intended production smoothly and efficiently by making a commitment to prevent industrial accidents in advance. Recognizing the dignity of human life, safety education and training keep the body of oneself and others away from the danger and acquire necessary knowledge and function.